how important do you think these whistleblower hearings will be today? Three committees of Congress joining together, the Judiciary Committee, the Oversight Committee, the Ways and Means Committee. So you got Jim Jordan, Comer, and, and others all joining together to hear testimony from these two IRS whistleblowers. One, uh, you've seen Gary Shapley. His, he's been out in the news. The other has, to this point, been unidentified and been doing, giving testimony behind closed doors. Today we'll uh, go public with who they are. Uh, we expect that they're another someone in the realm of supervisory agent. Release this statement al- along with kind of what will be in their opening remarks, which is not so much about what they are going to shed light on potential wrongdoing the IRS, but just who they are because of what they heard from even congressional staff. Take a listen to this. Uh, This is a quote from the opening statement of this whistleblower X, as they are known right now. I would recently heard an elected official say that I must be more credible because I am a gay Democrat married to a man. Uh, I am no more credible than the man sitting next to me, that would be Gary Shapley, due to my sexual orientation or my political beliefs. The American people deserve to know the truth, no matter how uncomfortable or inconvenient it may be for either political party or those in power. So what he's saying there, Logan, is, again, it's, it's one, uh, absurd that you think I'm now more credible because I happen to be a gay man. Yeah. Uh, but I am a Democrat, and even if this is going to damage Democrats, it's still more important to protect the institutions of America. Yeah, there's a difference between saying you're more credible and saying the fact that it just destroys a narrative. And I think that, to me, is what's important. Is it sh- Like we said in the title, it shatters the narrative that it is only a political partisan moment here. This is more about America than it is about uh, any one party. We know uh, Gary Shapley, uh, Harry, one of the whistleblowers for the IRS here. We, we've heard some of what he is uh, claiming as that David Weiss, the U.S. attorney investigating Biden, sought special counsel status and was denied. Some of that is in conflict with what David Weiss has put out in statements. So had to figure out who is telling the truth here and what and the timing of these comments as well. He also said at one point, uh, David Weiss came in and said, you know, we wanted to bring these charges in the in the uh, uh, districts like in California and Washington, D.C., and we were denied by the U.S. attorneys there. David Weiss said that was uh, not necessarily correct. He said he could bring charges anywhere, but but he says he's bringing charges anywhere, and yet he re- really did not have the power ever to do that. Um, uh, the government always had to, whether it was the DOJ and the attorney general overriding a U.S. attorney or a U.S. attorney, because he wasn't a special counsel. So we have that, but we have a new whistleblower today who, uh, again, is going to testify that I might be a Democrat, I might be a gay man, but I also believe that this is uh, so dangerous to our nation that it is important that we come out now that American people deserve to know the truth no matter how uncomfortable or inconvenient it may be. Uh, And a lot of this is to the slow walking of the Hunter Biden case and also the denial of their, even uh, allegations that the FBI was tipping off uh, the Biden Secret Service team before the IRS conducted searches on their on their properties. What we are witnessing is outrageous behavior, misbehavior by the Department of Justice. And I would argue there may be a need to appoint a special counsel to investigate the Department of Justice. And one of the first witnesses should be David Weiss. Uh, and the second witness probably should be Merritt Garland, uh, who has a very strange and um, a difficult relationship with the truth, in my opinion. Um, but I think at the end of the day, we have to find a way to overturn this two-tiered system of justice, which leads ultimately to a miscarriage of justice. And I also think at the end of the day, this erodes the confidence of the American people in the Justice Department, in the FBI, in the IRS, and the, this erosion is justifiable based on the facts I've seen. These brave whistleblowers who are under attack from the left, they are under assault from the left just for speaking out the way they should be to protect our rights and protect the institutions that, again, those whistleblowers say, we either have to trust that they're doing the right thing or they rot from within inside. And right now, Washington, D.C., is rotting in front of our eyes.